Hey guys, how are you? So, I forgot. Click subscribe. Hey guys, how are you? So welcome to my tiny and messy kitchen as always. So today I'm going to show you a very easy and simple dish that you can just do at home. So this is inspired by arroz cubana that we normally have in the Philippines. But instead of using minced pork, I'm going to use the silver side corned beef from Australia. So what you can do with your silver side, so this is the silver side, I've already chopped them into like a quarter thick square inch, but you can cut it to however you want to slice it. And I've already pre-cooked them, so all you need to do is just put this in a deep pan and cover it with a cold water. Let that boil and then simmer it for two hours. All you need to do is just add sugar, um, bay leaves, whole um, corn, and vinegar. So I'm going to flash that into your screen, the measurements that I use for this. And you can actually eat this on its own. Or you can add gravy or white sauce to it. But I'm going to do another take on this one. All the ingredients that I'm going to use for this recipe, I'm going to flash that into your screen. So I always start with oil. And I'm using an electric skillet. And the temperature is around 180 to 200. So that's the temperature that I want. Since I've already pre-cooked the silver side pork beef, I will put that in last. So I just wanna do all my vegetables first. And instead of having tomato paste, I'm just gonna use my fresh tomatoes, cherry tomatoes from my garden. But if you don't have any tomatoes, a tomato paste will do the trick, okay? So I'm just sauteing our onions and garlic. I love the sound of that. my cherry tomatoes in there I've already selected them from the few because I've got a lot of cherry tomatoes and just like in in you know in a relationship or in a in, in choosing your friends you have to remove those that are rotten I'm going to add in my frozen capsicum. See, that's really frozen. <laughs> I like freezing them to preserve it, but this is the pre cut that I got from movies. Just sauteing it, just making sure that they're all cooked. Just making sure that I'm moving them so I'm not burning anything from my skillet. 
and then with your tomato I mean potatoes you have to soak them in water to remove those extra starch that you don't need because you know we Filipinos we love to eat our food with rice so I already have the starch in there so I don't want to add too much more so I'll just we soak this to remove those extra starch that we don't need. Okay, you can use whatever vegetables that you want to use. I was meant to add in the broccoli but it's not good anymore. It's been sitting in the fridge for a while so. Now I can bump up my heat, put it up to 200 from 180 and put it up to 200. All I'm doing is just really mixing them. Now adding my carrots. If you feel like you don't have enough tomato paste, you can add a little bit more, but it, don't add too much. I just really want to cover it. That's right. That's all there is to it. Okay, I'm just going to let this cook for a little bit. I'm gonna add the water, you know, the stock that we use from boiling our silver side corned beef. I'm going to add that here. I'll maybe um, put in a cup or two cups of that um, stock so that that will help me um, with the taste of my um, arroz cubana, a la arroz cubana with silver side corned beef. Season it to taste. You can use salt and pepper, that's fine. But if you have fish sauce, you can also add just a teaspoon of your fish sauce. I just wanna I just wanna remind you that we've already cooked, you know that silver side, it's it's got a little bit of that saltiness in it. So you might want to maybe you know you might want to put you might want to control the salt that you're going to put here. So if you add like fish sauce, taste it first before you add some more. Normally I will put it at the very end once I've added the silver side in it so that I know for sure that this is not too salty. It's okay if the taste is lacking a little bit because they can always add you know sauce while they're having the while they're having the dish instead of being too salty and you can't remedy it anymore so I'm going to leave it like that I'll just cover it and let it simmer and then we'll come back and then we'll add our mushroom because I'm gonna add the mushroom as well and our silver side corned beef so yeah just want to add a little bit of the turmeric. This will give you an extra flavor and it will also help with the color of your dish. I really love turmeric. It's got that sweet um, gingery taste, which is just enough to give it a little bit of a kick.
have the silver side now. Now adding this, the cooked silver side corned beef into my pot. Give it a stir. Now add the sliced mushroom. Give it another stir. So we're going to cover this. We'll let this cook. We'll let all the vegetables cook. And then after that, you're done. It's up to you if you feel like you wanted to add more of that salt and pepper or the fish sauce, but it's all up to you. What we normally do is we just have the fish sauce on the side. So if you feel like you need to add a little bit more, you go and add a little bit more. Okay. Right, so we'll come back and we are going to taste this Arroz Cubana inspired with um, silver side corn beef. See ya! Alright guys, so we are now done with our Arroz Cubana inspired um, dish with silver side corned beef. Oh, that smells really good. So this is what I was saying earlier. So if you feel like it's not, the taste is not enough, you can add your um, salt and pepper. It's up to you, but we normally just put it on the side. We use fish sauce, put it on the side and then just add a little bit of that in there. Taste it with the veggies and the silver sign. Oh god, it's super yummy. See, this is very easy. This is a simple dish that you can do at home. Prepare it to your uh, family and friends if they come over or you want to impress them. You can just do this. Like what I said earlier, you can you you can cook the silver side and eat that on its own. Just add your gravy or your white sauce in it and you'll be done. But I just want to use this silver side as my meat for my arroz cubana. And it tastes really, really good. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends and family. So they can also enjoy the same recipe. And you're going to help this channel as well by doing that simple thing. By just hitting that like button there. So I hope to see you again guys on my next video. If you, if you want to be updated on all the, every time I posted a new video, just hit the subscribe button there and the bell next to that. So you'll be notified by YouTube every time I post a new video. So until next time guys, stay safe and God bless. Bye! Click subscribe.